Okay, out here today with Dave East, the boating editor of Florida Sportsman, and uh, he's on Best Boats TV show and also um, Project Dream Boat. And uh, we're in the Savannas over in Port St. Lucie. Cool little freshwater area that's only, certain areas of it is only, uh, man, I tell you, it's few hundred yards from the uh, Indian River Lagoon so he promised me some big bass so we're out here way out in the middle of nowhere hunting down largemouth bass in the savannas. Let me go catch up with Dave. It's been a beautiful morning, man. We've been here for an hour. I hadn't seen any activity at all. So we're trying different baits. We kind of spread out. He's pitching a plastic uh, frog, and uh, I've been trying a little bit of everything. Uh, right now, I'm just using a. Uh, should have brought a rattle trap. A rattle trap would have been a good bait to throw, cover a lot of water, try to locate where these bass are. But right now, very little activity. But man, what a beautiful spot! Unique thing about this spot here is that it is actually east of US-1. There's not too many places east of US-1 where you can bass fish that looks like this. So, very unique area, very uh, very worthwhile just to paddle. I mean, sightsee, you're going to see gators, you're going to see herrings, you're going to see all kinds of bird life in here. And uh, it's pretty cool and it's, like I say, it's right in Port St. Lucie. Here we go. When it's slow, what I like to do is downsize my baits. There you go, whoa! Oh. Hey, a little bass on a mirror lure. That's a little flash, it's like a little. Um, well, what do you call this lure? Glass minnow, I believe. Be the best, best way to describe it. But hey, a little bass to start today. There you go, little bass. All right. That's a little schooling, so. Like I say, it's been a tough hour of fishing, so. Anytime, fresh water or salt water, if I'm having a hard time, or things are really quiet, I don't see much activity at all, I like to downsize. And this is probably one of the smallest little mirror lures that, uh, that they make but sometimes especially when those glass minnows there's no glass minnows in here but a saltwater situation where there's a lot of glass minnows would be a really good bait same thing in here there's a lot of little minnows in here and uh, little baits can catch big fish Been a slow morning, but hep, here we go. <laughs> Man, he's dark color. Look at the color of that bass. Man, he's black. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you wanted that worm. Whew, look at him, man. That's a dark colored bass, man. Whew. Like I say, fishing's been really slow. I've kind of moved in this like little creek or canal area downsize my worm. Anytime the fishing's tough, and it's tough today, I like to downsize. So, 
little 16th ounce bullet weight, brass bullet weight. Also put a little bead in there because it kind of clicks. They got a green bead on there. It just gets that little clicking noise. So sound chamber, maybe that helps. I don't know, but works works for me. So I'm just kind of pitching these little edges and everything. I got a little structure from the wind, kind of keep me out of the wind. So kind of helps because it's it, it is blowing today. So, but oh well, two little bass. Let's see if we can up it again. Catch a few more. I'd like to get one nice one. Got a bump. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Man, these bass are dark. Look at the color of them. They're almost pitch black. Oh my god. Oh, he wanted that. He wanted that bad. Look at us. Look at the color of that bass. He is just pitch black. Oh my god. Go get my. D, ho D hooker. There we go. Oh, here another one. A little more color to them. Man, they're inhaling this worm. But anyway, nice little bass. Not quite as dark as the others, but still pretty, pretty, pretty black. Man, you know there's got to be some big bass in here. It's beautiful. You know, it's Saturday. And Dave and I have been fishing this all morning long. And uh, the amazing thing, we haven't seen one other person out here. And it's right here in Port St. Lucie. So. Still got to get that. Uh, still looking for my 10-pounder. Well, we didn't catch anything big. But yeah, but it was fun. It was fun. At least now you see how to get in here. Yeah. You know, it's not hard. And, uh, I mean, we can fish more, too. Once we break out my Boy Scout over here, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's going to mess it up or not. But right there to the right, mm -hmm. there's a lot of deep fishing right there in that canal, too. So yeah, we we'll, we'll check it out. I mean, <laughs> cut now, fish. Amazing. If yeah. you can get through here, mm -hmm. there's another lake about... 300 yards straight that way. Yeah. We call it the old man's lake. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know that we can even get to it in these because I just don't. I don't see. I don't see how to get through. This used to all be underwater. Really? Yeah. We used to bring the boats in here under power. Wow. Because they allow up to like a 9.9. .9. Mm -hmm. And we used to run the boats in here with the outboard motor, and we'd put in at the ramp and motor all the way through the big lake. All this was underwater, every bit. Wow. With a just drop or just plant growth? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I mean, this, it's, the water quality here is unreal. Look at the hydrilla. It's yeah. gorgeous. Um, we can get out here on a calm day and all the really healthy hydrilla is right out uh, here. Yeah. And if we can get out there on a calm day and flip down deep in that hydrilla, yeah. oh, I think we do real well. Yeah. But I think that's where the bass are. I think they're just... They haven't transitioned yet to start spawning, and yeah. I think they're just stuck down in this hydrilla. They really do. Amazing thing is, we didn't see one other person. It's a Saturday. You'll never see anyone else out here. This is the best kept secret. <laughs> I, rarely do I ever see anybody out here, and it's rare. And normally it's a it's a husband and wife or a father and kid, and they're just like brim fishing. These yeah. fish don't get any pressure at all. Wow. None. Well, we didn't give them too much pressure today. <laughs> <laughs> we might have given them pressure, but we, we didn't... Well, we're not done yet. Well, I'd like to thank Dave for showing me the savannas. Really cool area. I mean, it really is. It's amazing here. We're here on a Saturday, and him and I were the only ones out here on the water. So uh, to find it, it's not hard. If you look right below me, there's the address there. Now, the best way to do it, take this address, put it in Google Map, and then wherever you live, type in your address. It'll show you the best way to get here. It's a cool spot to get to. Um, bass fishing, probably going to be better than it was today but uh, still a great place to go even if you just want to paddle and see some wildlife some alligators and herrings and everything else
cool spot. That's the savannas. The savannas. That's better. Over in Port St. Lucie. This is Pete Hink. If you like this, please subscribe to my channel. And always, thank you for watching. See you next time.